A few months ago, I made a video where I walked through my Georgia Tech Masters in Computer Science transcript semester by semester, calling out every class I took and some high level thoughts. I actually ordered a transcript from my undergrad, which is at UNC Chapel Hill, around the same time I ordered the transcript for Georgia Tech. And I thought it'd be interesting to make a video where I pretty much do the same thing. Granted, I won't be able to go into so much detail just because for undergrad, it was four years, took a lot more classes. Um, so I'll kind of just call out the ones that stand out to me four years later. So let's just go ahead and get into it. At the top, you'll see my degrees were in information science and computer science, and I had a minor in entrepreneurship. If I had it my way, I would have my degree as BS in computer science first, and then my second major would be information science. But unfortunately, just some minutiae, I guess, how UNC does it is information science is in its own school, whereas computer science is part of the larger College of Arts and Sciences. So just that's just how they do it, I guess. If it's a professional school, it'll always be listed as your first major, even if you have multiples. For my very first semester of college, I only took one computer science class, as you can see, and that was an intro to scientific programming class, which basically taught Python and NumPy and working with matrices, etc. So this was my first introduction to programming, and I wasn't one of those people that had a ton of programming experience in high school or prior to college. It was a very good class. I ended up TAing for this class later. Um, that's my main takeaway from this semester. You'll see that I did a lot of gen eds, and the reason for that is just because as a first year, you don't really get into a lot of classes that you necessarily want. So calculus and that comp, like intro to programming class, were my two computer science classes that I got that semester. I was kind of bummed to get a B plus on a philosophy class. I don't care about philosophy, and I certainly didn't back then and I just took it just to fulfill the gen eds. And it kind of hurt to get a B plus on a class that I kind of went into it thinking as just like a fluff class and maybe that's what I get. For my second semester, I took my second ever programming class, which was essentially object-oriented programming in Java. It's called Comp 401 on here, but I know all of the course numbers have probably since changed. But this was super important and I did enjoy the class. I think at this point, I felt a little behind because a lot of the people in that class were really, really advanced in the sense that they kind of understood what classes were. And I had only taken the one semester prior, which was essentially like data science oriented programming in Python and we're working out of Jupyter Notebooks. So the concept of having separate files them working together and running code and Java was entirely new to me, where some people took another intro class which was also in Java, so they were kind of a leg up at that point, but obviously it all works out. Um, and you'll see I had pretty much the rest of them are all gen eds, with the exception of Calc 2. Threw up a stinker there. Calc 2 is hard. That was probably the first time I felt like I really wasn't good at math. Prior to that, I never thought I was good at math per se, but you know, being in a class where it's kind of a weed out class and there are some people in these courses that are really good at math, whereas I was simply just taking it because it's a requirement if you want to get the BS in computer science. The only other class I'd call out is Econ 101 because at this point I was considering applying to the B school or doing a business minor. I ended up just doing an entrepreneurship minor, um, but that was a solid class and I actually enjoyed it. I remember it being an early class, which was kind of tough, but other than that, all good. We're now on to fall 2017. So this is the first semester of my sophomore year, third semester in college. As you can see, it was a pretty difficult semester, not the greatest in terms of the GPA. So this is Calc 3, Data Structures, Computer Organization, and Intro to Entrepreneurship. So I'm glad I only took four classes because doing five probably would have been a bad idea and probably just not that fun uh, in general. So Data Structures, super useful class. Uh, I wish I paid more attention because it's so useful uh, for interview questions, leak code, algorithm questions, etc. But 
obviously I was a kid, I didn't know any of that at the time, so I was just taking it because it was a required class. Computer organization, B+, that class was especially tough because the prior classes were Java and Python, which are two you know, higher level languages, especially Python. And those are my only two semesters programming. So I had no programming experience prior to that really. And it was a pretty big wake up, wake up call. I mean, C is tough on its own. And then when they had us programming in assembly, that was absolutely brutal. Um, Calc 3 was honestly not that bad, but just in combination with the other classes, this is a tough semester. Now on to sophomore spring. As you can see, I'm starting to get deeper into the major, so taking more comp classes. At this point, I was pretty much sold on being a computer science major. Um, I pretty much knew after my freshman year that I was gonna stick with computer science major. By sophomore spring, it's pretty locked in. So discrete structures, which is essentially the same thing as discrete math. Building a software startup was pretty interesting because it was a little bit of a hybrid between the entrepreneurship minor and the computer science major. Internet services and protocols is essentially computer networking where you go over TCP, HTTP, etc. That class was super, super difficult, so I'm really glad I got an A- in that one. And then, real bummer here, I got a B plus in film experience. I just took that class because I needed to take a gen ed. Not to say it wasn't fun, but it took up way too much time. Uh, and I got a B plus, which, yeah. yeah, not great. 2018 fall, which is the beginning of my junior year, you'll see I'm doing some fun classes. So jazz piano and social dance, that's just for fun, not really moving the needle for the GPA or a gen ed requirement. But then I also did population health, which is a gen ed requirement that was super interesting. But for actual majors and minors, two comp classes, an entrepreneurship class, and an information science class. At this point, I realized I could pick up the information science minor pretty easily. I don't think I was quite yet admitted to the additional major yet. The comp classes to highlight are modern web programming, which is a pretty big misnomer because I think at this point they didn't even teach React or Vue or Angular. They taught everything in jQuery, which if you don't know about it, it's just an older way of manipulating the DOM. So it is called modern, but it was kind of exciting just because up until that point, all the coding didn't have a UI or like everything was very back-end focused, so this was kind of my first and only exposure to front-end programming. Comp 455 was a models of language and computation class, which essentially was an extension of discrete math where you talk about Boolean logic, finite state machines, etc. So this was a solid semester. Frankly, it was pretty fun, and at this point, you're pretty like in the swing of things. You're a junior, so School is fun, not stressful, you have your friends already, and you kind of figure out your major. So, chilling at this point, and on to the next semester. Now, going into my junior year spring, I had already found out that I got an internship to intern at IBM in Raleigh, which is just down the road from Chapel Hill. So, it was pretty exciting to go into a school semester already knowing what I was gonna be doing for the summer, and. I was excited, you know, just to get some real world experience at a big tech company. So this semester was kind of exciting. Um, you'll see that I did algorithms and analysis, which was a notorious class. Obviously it's been a while, so I don't know if it's still considered a scary class or a weed out class, um, but I made it out with an A minus. It's a pretty standard undergrad algorithms and analysis course. Um, and the other Comp 590 class, I believe was big data. So that was a really interesting class because it introduced Hadoop's MapReduce and Spark, which has actually paid off a lot since for my current full-time work, I think maybe six months ago, I was working full-time on a PySpark data science project. And you'll see I have my first dub. Uh, in this case, getting a W is not good, but just intro to probability. I think I made it to the first exam did not do that well. It was like the night after a Duke game. Just took my losses there, withdrew, and said I would take it an easier semester. And I'm glad I did, it worked out. For the summer semesters, there are actually two sessions. So for the first one, 
I did an information systems analysis and design. I don't really remember too much about it, but I would say generally it is a project management type class where you learn about agile methodologies, um, value proposition. So it's kind of like a blend between entrepreneurship, project management, and computer science. Generally, all the information sciences are a little bit technical, a little bit business oriented. So I always say information science really leads you well into tech consulting or feels like that. For the next semester, I did the information science internship. That's actually interesting because I had the internship throughout the whole summer, but just the way I guess it is written on here. Around this time, I actually had a transfer credit from NC State. The reason why I took linear algebra at NC State and not at UNC is just because I heard it would be easier and I think it was. Um, that's not a huge knock to NC State since they have good engineering programs and whatnot. But at least for linear algebra, everyone says linear algebra at UNC is harder. I would probably agree, I never tried, but NC State linear algebra was not that difficult. I think I ended up getting an A or A minus or something. And I didn't even really need to because transfer credits, I don't think they influence your GPA or anything. Um, I don't really have any regrets about doing it at NC State, though I do wish I paid a little more attention to linear algebra. It was one of those things that I thought I would do and just never have to use it again. But now we live in this world where deep learning and all these ML models use vectors and tensors. So linear algebra, linear algebra would have been nice because uh, I think it made the master's in computer science with ML stuff a little harder, but whatever, you know, you live and you learn. Here we go, 2019 fall. This is the start of my senior semester. At this point, I'm just trying to have a good time and enjoy the company and being in college with you know, a lot of my closest friends to date. I did have a lot of comp and information science classes, so that's kind of to be expected, you know, as you go through your undergraduate career, you finish your gen eds and then you start taking more and more of your major classes. Security concepts was, that was just frankly like a very forgettable class. Files and databases was super useful. That was my first introduction to NoSQL and SQL. I mean, I was already exposed to SQL before, but it was like my first time really, really like running more difficult queries. The difficulty of the comp classes, SQL queries versus the information science ones were pretty night and day. The comp class also wasn't just about queries. It also talked about how files and databases worked, the different file systems, getting locks for database transactions, etc. Artificial intelligence was also really interesting as that was my first foray into the topic but it certainly was an older approach. I mean, there was a reason why it's artificial intelligence and not machine learning. Last but not least, my 2020 spring, which was obviously my final semester in undergrad. I was only taking three classes. I was really enjoying everything at that point. I think I already had my full-time offer before the semester even started. So I was really chilling and COVID kind of threw a wrench in everything. I would say academically, it probably made everything easier just because professors were a little slow to respond. And I mean, frankly, nobody knew really how to transition that quickly into online classes, et cetera. I also really enjoyed the semester because the entrepreneurship class and the information science capstone classes were a lot smaller. They were more chill, but they were a lot more discussion based and you really got to know your other classmates and your professors better. I actually dreaded taking this store 435 intro to probability class. If you remember, this is the class that I withdrew from before, but second time's the charm. Like I said, I also think that COVID made things a little bit easier. Like we had take home exams that were open internet. You just had to do them over 24 hours as opposed to taking them at like nine o'clock in the morning on a Friday morning or something. One thing I forgot to point out is I did do physics in the physics lab at the community college in Orlando. So that's why there were seven credit hours instead of just three. So I did three credit hours when I was in high school at the local community college and the other four were from physics in the physics lab. The reason why I did it is just because I was home for the summer working an internship in Orlando and then doing physics in the physics lab at a community college in Orlando was way better just because the class size was like 10 people, so the quality of the instruction, in my opinion, 
was really good and it was just so much easier to get help. And that sums it up. I really enjoyed walking through it and please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Mm -hmm.